So how do I record my bass guitar directly into Reaper without using an amp or a microphone? Well, your audio interface likely has one or maybe two inputs that are designed for high impedance instruments, such as electric guitars and basses. And this will usually be on some sort of a quarter inch jack. It might be marked with the image of a guitar or maybe the words high Z, meaning high impedance, or maybe just the word instrument. On my audio interface, input number two is for high impedance instruments, and it's marked with a guitar. So what do we need to do? Well, we should know the drill by now. We need to create a track. So we either control T or command T or double click as I like to do. And the next thing is name that track. And this is gonna be bass. So I'll call it bass. And after that, I need to tell Reaper where to get the sound from. So in this case, it's defaulting to analog one, but I'm gonna go in here and tell it analog two, because I know that input number two is where my bass is plugged in. So that's great. Let's check levels. So I'm going to hit the record arm button just so that we can see the bass input coming in. I'm actually going to turn up the volume on the bass guitar itself. Play a little bit. Oh, see right there. There we go. I'm peaking. So I've got to turn that down uh, a little bit. Let me clear that. Let's try this. Okay, that's better. Always aiming for that minus 6 to minus 10. Minus 10 is a little lower, but it's absolutely fine. And that's a good level. That gives me a lot of room in case I do play hard. Next thing on the list is creating a headphone mix or a monitor mix. This is a very similar process to when we recorded the acoustic guitar and vocal. But because we're not using a microphone to record the bass, we could either use headphones or speakers. To set up our headphone or monitor mix, we're going to need to balance the bass with the previously recorded tracks as well as the click track. To do this, you'll need to either use the mix knob on your audio interface, turn on your direct monitoring switch, then adjust your headphone volume if necessary, or use your audio interface's direct monitoring software. If you need to review how to do this, go back to the lecture called Getting Audio into Reaper in Section 3. I've gone ahead and adjusted my monitor mix so that I'm happy with the balance. So now I'm ready to record. Here we go. So I hit space bar to stop, and there we have it. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a couple of notes I want to redo. I think I'm going to do another take. But that is how you record bass guitar directly into Reaper.